Welcome to the Bob and Tam Show today. What are we going to talk about? We're going to talk about bison. Yes, buffalo. Whatever you want to call them. <laughs> we won't get into the technical term of why we don't call them buffalo. That'll be for another video or go back and watch some of our other videos. So today we're going to give you the ins and outs all about bisons and also if you're going to go out to Custer State Park. You know, just a few things you want to think about if you're going to go out to Custer State Park. You know, you got to be cautious. You know, first of all, they're not like they say, they're not fluffy cows. You know, everybody hates that saying, but I mean, you know, I guess they say some of the Karens are the ones that are after that. Sorry for you Karens out there, the real Karen, not the Karens that act that way. So uh, today we're going to go out and talk a little bit about that real quick. And then at the end, we're going to take you out to last year's Custer State Park, kind of show you around a little bit and show you what to expect when you're riding around with the bison. Just a couple things you want to keep in mind when you're out there. You know, first of all, stay away from the calves, which are the babies. You know, the mothers are, and the fathers basically are very protective. Protect <laughs> yep, they don't want anything to happen to them, and you're just an obstacle in their way if you get anywhere near them. Their horns can hurt pretty bad. You know, if they're laying down, don't be don't be coming up to them thinking they're going to be easy to to approach. You got to watch out. There's there's two things you want to watch out if you're anywhere near any of the bison. You know, if they start grunting real loud, snorting, and start scratching the ground like that, that's usually the sign right before they charge you. Best thing to do is not to run. You know, it's like any other animal. You know, back up very slowly. Keep your eye on them. You know, I've I'm not recommending you do any of the things that I do, but I get pretty close to them and I've never been gored. Uh, she's actually, Tam's been on the bike. Very close to one, but yep. and, uh, <laughs> it went around me. Yep. I didn't say nothing. <laughs> the only exception to this rule is if mating season starts. Usually it does start sometime in August, but these last couple years, wasn't so bad but when we came out here back in uh, the early 2000s uh, they were actually goring cars, cars and, stuff. and motorcycles because they just looked at anything that was around them as a predator to the males so those are just a couple things you want to just kind of keep in mind we like to do the nice ride you know you ought to figure out about a half a day time for doing it and if you want to see that herd and you want to see them moving you need to get out there before 9 a.m. 8 o'clock is probably the best yep to see them move so let's go take a quick look and uh, see if you guys want to see what we seen last year uh, the bison we didn't get to see the herd move but we did see a few of them walking around and seen a lot of them laying down so let's go take a quick look at that and we'll wrap up the video today
you know, hopefully these tips have been really helpful to you guys, and I hope you enjoyed the video that we took of last year of the uh, bison and also down there at Custer. We got a lot more stuff that we'll show you up into coming to uh, Sturgis Rally. And uh, actually, right now, we're almost ready to start our Daytona Bike Week. Yep. So that's, that's yep, pretty close. So with that, we're going to leave you right here. So we hope you enjoyed the bison today. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Share us with your family and friends. Think about Patreon. Give us a big thumbs up. Ring that bell for notifications. And we'll see you on the next video. And we'll see you later.